Leo, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading. So if it resonates for you, I highly recommend you checking out your moon rising and Venus signs to get a bigger picture of what's going on. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And also, there will be an extended for this. I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Also, we will pull some oracle cards and we will hop right into your tarot reading. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies a great bounty, Leo. You're coming into some knowledge. Narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Interesting. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. I feel like you and Aquarius are um, have very similar readings. You should go check out the Aquarius from yesterday, which you're not seeing. Ooh, impasse in reverse. And I don't do reversal, so I have no idea how that happened. You're not seeing that you're resisting, reflecting, and redirecting your energy. You're resisting all of this from what I can see. While Aquarius was um, encompassing it, you're resisting it because of the narrow pathway. You have to tread thoughtfully, and it's almost like it's difficult for you, Leo, because of communication and not letting things go. I feel like there was a situation you have a lot of anger and resentment for things that have happened in the past, and I feel like that's what you're stuck on. You're stuck on communicating the negative aspects of things that happened in the past. You're stuck. 8, 10, and 9 of wands, respectful, respectively. Ace of pentacles, 3 of swords, 9 of cups. Well, I'm glad that it ended like that. Ace of pentacles, 3 of swords, and 9 of cups. I feel like you actually see the, the direction that you need to go. I feel like you're seeing that you're able to look at pain or heartache or an issue that happened and you're like, oh, you know, I'm so glad I went through that because had I not gone through this, my wish would not have been fulfilled. I just didn't know that my wish was going to be fulfilled in such a way. Like you were unable to see it. You're unable to see this new beginning, this abundance new beginning. You know, maybe it was a new job that ended, but all of a sudden there's this job that, um, opened up or this new company that opened up and had that job not ended, you would have never left that one to start this new one. I feel like it's, it's a painful transition that you're going through, but I do feel like you're going to be able to see that quickly, whether it's relationship or job, but I feel like this is more financial. It's like the job is ending or maybe even a position is ending and you're going to be pulled into a different position with the same company. Whatever it is, the situation that you're in, it's ending, and there's something coming that's better. And you're going to see it. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, thank God that actually ended. Thank God that was so painful, because had it not been painful, I wouldn't have left that situation, and I wouldn't be sitting here in all of this glorious abundance. So that's what I have for you, Leo. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button, and a couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there.